Um, I'm just here to do what I do best. You know what I'm saying? And let's go ahead and pay my due diligence. Now, Go Yayo -Yo would actually do an interview with Say Cheese, Sean Cotton to be exact. And he would elaborate on the fact that Peso Peso was, in fact, victimized by a California rapper. Now, Go Yayo -Yo would not go into detail in regards to who the California rapper was. But he would elaborate on the fact that Sean Cotton would actually post this California rapper on his Say Cheese platform. That's what left the fans and the audience and the people in a whirlwind of conspiracies based on who this specific rapper was. Now, in previous videos, I went ahead and covered the fact that EBK Young Jock would victimize Peso Peso in Los Angeles, California. Now, the fact that Goyea would actually do an interview with Say Cheese and he would ironically be having some type of static with Sauce Walker, he would go ahead and put everything out on the table. He would even go into detail and say how he been knew about the chain of events that transpired months prior. Now, if you remember me saying this happened months ago, many were asking why didn't I break the story when the story first happened because let me tell you time is of the essence and I work on my type of time and, and, and everything goes as it flows I'm not gonna do it just because oh this just happened right now you know what I'm saying I'm gonna wait until the time is right and the time was actually right because look at how the universe aligned with my storyline as soon as I dropped the story it left Texas in a whirlwind of conspiracies even the west coast to where many were convinced that I made the story up and like I said in previous videos why would I pick peso peso out of all rappers to put this to put this story on when there's other rappers that I could have said that EBK Young Jock victimized which peso peso was not the first rapper that EBK Young Jock would victimize he would also victimize a boogies artist Lil Reek who is also from the east coast you know what I'm saying? Who is from the East Coast? So I never even elaborated on the story in regards to that. And like I said, Peso Peso wouldn't be EBK Young Jock's first victim. It's many more in the vault that I have not covered in regards to these topics on YouTube because I feel like when the timing is right, everything will, will unfold when it needs to unfold, basically. And so go, yeah, yo, basically he co-signed me. But he didn't say my name, but I'm sure it was just based on the fact that I covered the story and he got wind of the story because it gained a lot of traction on Instagram. And from it gaining a lot of tra traction on Instagram, it gained a lot of traction on YouTube. So like I said, Go Yayo would go ahead and do that interview with Say Cheese, Sean Cotton to be exact. And he would elaborate on the fact that a California rapper would in fact victimize Peso Peso, who is known as Sauce Walker's artist. Now, like I said, I don't know how this chain of events is going to unfold in, in the future, but I was just here to deliver to the story and, and bring clarity to the people, the fandom, the audience in regards to what actually transpired that day. Now, like I said, there may be gaps and holes in regards to my story because I don't know the details. Now I'm hearing different sides of the fence and I'm hearing different stories and I'm hearing different... different um different theories in regards to what might have transpired that day of but it is a fact that peso peso would be victimized for his cuban link his rolex and fifty thousand dollars in cash now um like i said a hey, shout out to go yo yo and shout out to everybody in texas doing a thing i don't really know what's going on out there but i know that y'all standing on business and i know that y'all be outside and i know that y'all be in tune with the west coast so you know that just alone says a lot in itself and um i want to go ahead and get flowers where flowers is due and um yeah so if anybody missed that go yo yo interview with say cheese and sean cotton go ahead and tune into that interview where he elaborates on the fact that Peso Peso was victimized by a California rapper. He did not go into detail because he said he is not a blogger. And he also said he wonders why bigger platforms are not picking up this story because when he was victimized by default, you know what I'm saying, every blog picked up the story. But for some odd reason, no bloggers are picking up this story. I think it's because I broke the story first and I am a female and I'm the only female captivating this lane right now. So a lot of people don't want to give me flowers where flowers is due. But it's okay. In due time, they will. Now, like I said, um, check out that interview with Go Yayo on Say Cheese's platform on YouTube. And if you go to 37 minutes and 48 seconds, that is when he starts to get into more vivid detail in regards to what happened to Peso Peso and this California rapper in Los Angeles. Now, until then, I'm just here to do what I do best. And I rest my case.